Hi guys, Glory Hunter back with more pickups as usual. Um, bit of everything. Um, this time we've got charity shops, um, game pickups, more, more, more game pickups, uh, a lot of CEX, and a bit of car boot from the Easter bank holiday. A bit of car boot, we say. We'll come to that at the end. Um, so hope everybody is well. Uh, thanks to everyone who's commented and liked my last couple of videos um it's been great to chat with you guys uh not long now we'll get the events kicking off and we'll get to meet some of you guys pretty soon so that'd be cool um but yeah quite a bit to go through like i say the last couple of videos i did on the same day and scheduled to go up uh so these pickups are from the last probably two or three weeks probably even a month ago uh, over the last month um so yeah a few bits to get uh, get through so uh, I suppose we better crack on. So let's where to start. Oh my god. Um, let's get the charity shop out of the way. So charity shops first. It's some of my first pickups anyway. Uh, there's a couple of bits I did pick up which I've not got now because they got traded in to get some of the CX stuff which we have here. And obviously that 3DS bundle that I got in my I think it was my last video or the video before. Um, I have kept the three games said I was keeping the rest to get traded in, as well as some of the charity shop finds I got, which I think were just stuff like some of the Grand Theft Autos and um, the Skate games, can't remember Skate 2 or 3 on the Xbox and the PlayStation, just for an extra few quid, uh, double more money or more on them. Anyway, it all got traded in and got a fair few bits for the CX. The bits I got the other day from charity shops, again, are going to get traded in. Oh, there's another copy of Grand Theft Auto 5 on the PS3. And Skate 3 on the PS3. I think these were like £2 each. So I'm not going to make much on them. I think the Skate's £4. So I'll double my money on that one. The Graph Toys on the PS3 now is actually only £3 trading. So I'm only going to make a pound on that. Uh, I thought it'd be a bit more. But a few quid on them anyway. Let's have a look. Then one which, when I seen it, I was like, I want that. I need that in the collection. Um, but after actually picking it up, I think I'm going to trade this one in. I'll hold up for a better version this is a platinum version and it doesn't have its manual but for two quid two pound we got spyro year of the dragon on ps1 now not i don't come across ps1 stuff in charity shop at all let alone just titles like this which hold some value so absolute bargain there's a stick on the back you can see it 199 so here's a game i do want in the collection this has got the uh Reimagined trilogy on the Xbox One that she's playing through at the minute. But like I say, it's a platinum version and it doesn't have its manual. So, I mean, it's £10 trading on that. Just the standard boxed platinum version. I think the mint one's like £16. Uh, £15 game or £25 mint. It has got a small crack on the front as well. So, obviously, it's not going to go mint. So, yeah, £10 trading. So, I think I'll just trade that in. I was thinking about saving it for a, take it to an event or something, but. Like I say, if CX sell it for £15, it's not that much more. I think I'll just get the £10 credit as there is still stuff I want to get from CX anyway. So that'll be going in. And then the other main charity shop thing we found, which is just absolutely crazy when I've seen it. So it came with a game. So the game we got was Test Drive Unlimited for the 360, um, which is old to fair value. Uh, is complete. Do need it in the collection, so that'll be going in the collection. However, this came with an Xbox 360 steering wheel, and it's quite a uh, yeah, it's a hefty one. It's wears a weighs a fair ton. It needs a bit of a clean. It's got double pad paddles at the back for gear changes and what have you. Nice metallic uh, finish in the middle. Nice rubberized grip. Um, and I think it says it's force feedback as well, so it's got the, the rumble on it. Obviously, it has pedals as well. So there's our pedals. As well as whatever this contraption is. I guess it's to hold it onto a table or something. I don't know. And the uh, obviously the power supply that you need to run it as well. So that's all there. Now, where the, I think it was in a box and the stick was on a box, which had obviously the price on it. I'm trying to remember now, this is a fair while ago I got this, I think. 
I think it was 20 quid. And I think the steering wheel sells for around 40 45 So, not too bad pickup. I will be cleaning it up and keeping that. That will be going in the collection. Sadly, it's not boxed, but, you know, finding a box, you probably won't do anyway. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll give that a go. I've been getting into my driving games, actually, lately. I know I said I don't really play them much, but the missus had Game Pass free for a couple of weeks. Uh, so, I made the use of it as well, playing a few games. And I was actually playing Forza Horizon. Four, I think it was, yeah, and just really loving it and getting into it. Just any game like that's a bit different that you can just go off and do different stuff rather than just going round in circles. I'm all for, you know, I really enjoyed it, just really got into it. So, love playing that. And a few other driving games I've been playing lately as well for on the 360 for achievements and stuff that I've actually really enjoyed playing. Uh, things like Split Second, and things like that. Again, something that's just a bit different, um, and just really enjoy playing it. So, I'll be giving that a whirl, testing out the old steering wheel as well, and adding that into the collection. So yeah, that is it for the charity shops. Like I say, I think that was a pretty good find, uh, the old steering wheel. Just looking to double check, so I always forget something. Um, the only other thing we got, which was a bit different to, to games and stuff, was from The Works, which is like a discount bookshop. Uh, they usually have quite a few gaming guides and stuff in. The one I went in only had this one, uh, but it was in a, like a dump bin of like sale, super sale stuff. Um, they had a few of these, obviously all the same one. Uh, it was fourteen ninety nine when it came out, so it says on the back. They were selling it for seven quid, but in the sale they got it up for three quid. So Rise of the Tomb Raider guidebook. Now, it is a game I finished and completed and got all the secrets and everything in, so I don't actually kind of need to go through it and play with it. Uh, but it's just nice to have three quid. Things are bargain, some nice artwork and stuff in there. And um, yeah, just I'm a massive Tomb Raider fan, just, so just, just have it is pretty cool. So that'll be going with my guides. I'm getting a fair few guides now as well, so that's not too bad. Three quid. Uh, if there's one near you and you're interested, go check them out. They might still have a few left. Anyway, on to the game stuff. Well, yes, we have more game. So after the last video or the one before, I can't remember when it was, I got a a load of game stuff saying that my local had actually got a few more bits in uh, and all the other games had pretty much got rid of. That's still the case, however, my local had fresh stock in the next time I went in and had got even more stuff that I needed. Um, I'm guessing some of the other stores may have sent their stock to this store. I, I don't know why or whatever. Um, but yeah, they've got another host of games in. Maybe they just found them in the back. I don't know because there's actually some new titles as well as pre owned. Um, so yeah, uh, first of all, obviously, I was talking about the Jomi Lumu, which they sent me, I got the um, American version, went back, they did have another copy, so I managed to change it over, I've now got the PAL version, so that's now all sorted and complete, so that's just uh, an extra exchange. Then the other bits they had, which I needed, I had in outlets were really cheap, again, even cheaper than what they were going for, and... I don't have a receipt on this one now. I think this was like 49p or something. 2014 FIFA World Cup Brazil. I'm pretty sure that was like 49p when it went through. Something like that. Um, these have got stickers on. 149 CSI Crime Scene Investigation Fatal Conspiracy. One of the CSI games I have played because it was the Easy 1000G one. I think this is still an Easy 1000G, but it's not that one that's the Easy 1000G that has like five achievements. This is like a full list of achievements, like 40, 50 achievements on it. Um, 149 as well. Got it on the Xbox One, but thought maybe I could go for the 360. Destiny, Vanguard version, but it doesn't actually have any codes or anything, so I'm guessing. That's not with it because I don't think it's on the disc, but got that anyway. Uh, Neef Speed Most Wanted, 149. So getting a few Neef Speed games now. Um, this did have the code in it. I can't remember if this one worked. I think a few of these games had codes in and a lot of them did work. I can't remember if this was one of them. Um, but get a paper in there for your manual. And this one I came across. Um, Game of the Year edition of Rugby League Live 2 with 2013 roster and kits update and this is one that had, because it's the Game of the Year edition, although the Game of the Year edition isn't on the disc, 
it came as a DLC code, which is here. And the code hadn't been used for some reason. So I managed to use it and got all that free stuff. Not that I'll probably play it that much. Um, I don't know, I might give it a go. Might be a bit of fun. Get some achievements on it and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but yeah, I was able to get all the content with that. So that was quite nice. I found this. It says one ninety nine. I can't remember if it went through cheaper or not. It might have gone through at one fifty. Um, Max and the Magic Marker on the Wii. Now there's a game on the Xbox One called Max and the Magic Marker. I'm guessing it's the same kind of game, although it looks very different. Um, but same similar thing where you basically draw the environment and things um, to help him go through the, the levels. It's a platforming game. Uh, so when I seen this, I thought I'd give it a go because I did enjoy the one on the Xbox One. Um, so I'll go through it again if it is similar or the same and play it. But looking at the back, it looks quite different. So yeah, be a different experience. Then a few um, Wii U games. A few more that we didn't have. I thought I may as well just pick up. Uh, 499, Just Dance 2017. Mrs. does like a Just Dance game, so primarily pick this up for her to have a a blast on on the Wii U. Uh, Lego Marvel Super Heroes. Do you like the Lego games? That was up for 4.99 as well. All complete. And then these two were actually new. Uh, so new stock, not pre-owned. Although they kind of look pre-owned, so they've probably been in the back or whatever for ages. Uh, but Legend Decay Anniversary, 6.99. This, I think, was a PS1, PS2 game, and obviously it's been remastered for the Wii U. Uh, it, yeah, it's a nice little platform adventure game. Uh, I've only played it a little bit, seems alright. Graphics are quite nice on it, um, so we'll get into that and give that a go at some point, as we always do. And obviously a game which I've picked up many times on the PS4. Trying to get that damn hot art book, but new, 4 99 Mighty Number no. 9. On the Wii U. Obviously it says it includes the Ray expansion and everything. Which we have all got in there. And this time we have the art book. Nice big um, landscape one. Which is in great condition. Got all the uh, art in there. Obviously it's an art book. And the poster. Which I think is slightly bigger than the PS3 poster. And this again in great condition. So no worries this time. Uh, double sided, so we've got our landscape with all the mighties and again portrait with all the characters on that side. So just nice to have in good condition, all complete, as well as the uh, ray code expansion and the one piece of paper saying there's a manual, a manual for a manual. Yeah, anyway. Get that in without bending them. So yeah, another Wii U game. So nice little haul from game. Uh, mostly pre-owned a couple of new titles. So we'll pop those over here. Make some space for the CEX stuff. Now we went to two different CEXs. I think this one was first. We'll go through these anyway. So this was my more usual CX that I go to. Uh, finally found a complete copy of Taito Legends on the Xbox original. Uh, so I had the disc only of this but and some of the actual art cards. I had two of the art cards. Uh, the art cards you can get in the PS2 version as well, which I think is where I got one of them from. I had the Rainbow Islands and the Bubble Bubble one, which was probably my two favourite ones. Um, some absolute great games on this. Like I say, Rainbow Islands, Bubble Bubble, uh, New Zealand Story, Operation Wolf. Space Invaders, just loads. There is a list, if you can see it without the glare and blur. But yeah, absolutely great. Finally, all complete. We got the manual. It did have an art card in as well. However, it was the Rainbow Islands art card, which I'd already got. So a piece of paper. There is the Rainbow Islands art card. So I think there are six cards to collect, it says on the back, so that is number four. And I've put in the one that I had from another game, which is the Bubble Bubble one. So I've got my two favourite games out of the set, that is number two. 
The other cards to collect are Space Invaders Part 2, New Zealand Story, which I'd like, Operation Wolf, and Phoenix. So we'll look out for them. Uh, it does say PC CD ROM as well on there, so I'm guessing you can get the card in any of those three versions of the game. So I'll look out for the other four cards that I need to try and finish that set. But like I said, I do have a spare Rainbow Islands card now, so if anyone wants that or wants to trade it for one of the ones I need, uh, that'd be great, let me know. Then I came across this, 75p, I thought I'd give it a go. I've been interested in playing the Army Men games uh, for a while, because I've seen this on the PS2, Army Men Green Rogue, I'd say 75p, give it a bit of a go, it seems alright, just a third person shooter in the Army Men universe. Um, character looks a bit like Deadpool, uh, but yeah, seems alright. High tech character and weapons, yeah. Shoot a move at 360 degrees. Wow. 16 diverse terrain levels. Okay. They added another couple of um, Iron Man games, actually. One was like a RTS one, which I was quite interested in picking up, but it was in really bad condition, so I left it. Um, but this one, this is one I found in a charity shop a little while back. But it didn't have its... I don't think it had its manual. No, it didn't have the disc. That's right. Um, it had the case, but... The disc wasn't in there, and obviously they don't keep them in the back, and it was like, oh, we'll just have to throw it away or whatever, and I tried to get it off, but they wouldn't give it me. I'd have to pay full price for it, but I left it, and luckily enough, I found a copy in the CX for only £2.50. Uh, a game I, after seeing it in the um, chat shop, I've been wanting to play because it looked quite interesting. It's Chaos Legion on PS2. And I've been playing this a bit. Seems all right, bit of fun. All complete. It's just the top of the uh, kind of artwork's a bit been like folded over where it's been pushed out of the case. So I can either try and play in that off a bit. I have got a paper slicer or I might just leave it. I have managed to put it back in the case so it won't get any worse. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of a third person, I suppose, hack and slash. Almost looks a bit like the Castlevania game Curse of Darkness. Um, that was on the PS2 and the Xbox original as well, so it kind of plays as a mixture of them kind of style. Uh, you can summon kind of big monsters as well to help you fight, which is uh, quite interesting. I have a few screenshots there, if we can see them. But yeah, it seems quite interesting, so we'll give that a go as well. And I picked this up just because it was in good condition and it was kind of a, a limited edition pack. Uh, 250 Ace Combat Assault Horizon. I say limited edition, it's in like a cardboard box. Uh, it comes with a whole host of bits which are all in here complete, which is the soundtrack, a notebook, a signed notebook, um, the exclusive F4E Phantom 2 plane, which was a digital code which did work, so I do have that, and obviously the, uh, the game. So I'll show you quickly the contents. I was a bit disappointed with the book, and you'll see why. Um, so, a signed pilot instructions book. There. I'm guessing that is the uh, signature on the back. Oh, what, actually, I didn't realise, is the producer and executive director who signed that, I believe, and it's in Kanji. So, that's actually not too bad. Uh, but the book is just a plain, absolutely empty notepad book like there's nothing in it no instructions or anything um for the pilot instructions and it's just a plain notepad that's a little bit disappointing um but the game is in absolutely great condition a nice mint case we have our two discs the uh game and like I say the soundtrack so they're nice to have however the, the case is kind of a single disc one so the second disc doesn't sit in there properly i do have a case which is like a a thicker one for two or three discs which I was thinking about swapping over but if this is the case it came in I'd just rather keep it in that. Uh, like I say the code for the plane which worked and I have and the manual all in great condition it's pretty much a mint collector's edition so that's like I say just nice to have and find in the uh, I suppose in the wild if you like. Not seen that one before so yeah got that like I say 250 not too bad then we'll put those to the side. And these were from a different CEX, but CX still. 
Uh, another PSP game. I had any PSP in the collection for a little while. Uh, so when I seen this, like I said, quite a bit of credit. I thought I'd give it a go. Uh, it's £6. Innocent Life, a futuristic Harvest Moon. I've not actually played any Harvest Moon games, but I've heard quite a lot about them. They're supposed to be quite good. I was looking at the screenshots on the back and thought, yeah, I'll give that a go. It seems, looks alright. Get that glare off. You can see in screenshots. So, we lost our focus a little bit. Uh, the premise I get, seem to get from it, is obviously you build your own kind of farm and just, um, yeah, raise cattle, grow vegetables and stuff. And it's kind of a management simulator, I think. Uh, I've not really played much into this one yet. Um, so it'll be a like a travel game. When I'm travelling, and we'll give that a go. Then this one, I've actually been playing quite a bit. Um, when I've seen it on the shelf, I've never seen that before or heard of it. I don't know why, I just picked it up. And um, reading the back and look at it, and I thought, wow, that kind of sounds a bit like Halo, but for PS3. So I'll give that a go. Two quid. Starhawk. Like I say, I've been playing it quite a bit. It's actually quite a bit of fun. It's actually a really good game. It's kind of a little bit like Halo, but also more, suppose, like um, the Red Faction games as well, with kind of RTS elements. So it's a third-person shooter. It has vehicular combat as well. Uh, that's like on the ground, like hovercrafts, a kind of a warthog thing, if you like, like a jeep. And it also has plate, plane flight jet sims, which also transform into a mech. So it's a bit transformers -y as well. Um... It's almost a futuristic western as well. So your character kind of looks like an old western guy, but it's a set way in the future. Um, he has a, a special kind of energy that's inside him that's up his arm and makes his eyes glow, which is an energy you also need to resource to um, build your structures in the kind of RTS mode. <coughs> Excuse me a second. Yeah, it's a bit dry. So, as you're shooting these kind of monsters or aliens and whatever you're on these uh, planets, like dust-filled planets, like I said, it's a bit westerny, but just go into space and things. Um, you can build structures, so like um, ammo storages to get more weapons and stuff, sniper towers, you can build walls, um, turrets and things like that. And you, you could do that just basically on the fly, so just press your, I think your triangle button, you get a red... Uh, red, oh, I don't know what the word is, a round menu um, to select whatever it is you want to build, look around the area uh, as an outline of that structure, and when it's green, you can basically build it and place it there. And yeah, it's quite interesting, plays really well. Um, so, really enjoying that. Game is in the console, like I say, because I've been playing it, uh, but two quid, absolute bargain. Like, just, I like these like little niche games that are. It's quite kind of interesting. So, so it's on the back. Fight for justice in a thrilling solo campaign or complete in blistering multiplayer modes. Shoot, run, fly and drive. Engage in intense combat on foot or in deadly vehicles and aircraft. Change the war zone at will with the unique build and battle system. Welcome to the new frontier. Experience epic conflict at the edge of the galaxy as gunslinger Emmett grieves. Uses an arsenal of weapons, vehicles, and fortifications to turn the tide of every battle. Um, but yeah, if you've not played it and you find it two quid, pick it up. Actually, really enjoying it. Then another one of the Altier games. Um, I thought I had most of them. I think now I have this. I do. I already have three. I'm just looking three on the PS3. So this will be my fourth one. I don't know how many there is. Um, but this is Altier. Moeru, The Apprentice of Ireland. Uh, this is 15 quid, which is the average price for these kind of games. There. Losing a bit of light. It's just gone a bit dull after that nice bank holiday we had. Glorious sunshine for the last few days. Uh, but it's all complete. I'll get around to playing these at some point again. I have played one of them a little bit. But this next one is a game that a lot of people have talked about and said about getting on the PS3. Uh, I found it quite hard to find, so when I found this one, obviously picked it straight up. This was £15 as well. It's Folklore. 
on the PS3. This is supposed to be quite a good game. Um, I thought it was a more traditional RPG, but it's not really. Uh, there are two characters you play as. There's a guy and a gal. Um, so play as Ellen or Keats, each with individual play styles and storylines. So the do the past do cross over, but it is kind of a separate story. The guy is kind of like an investigator who gets told about, I think it's a murder, and he goes to an island to, um, to I guess, to solve it. Whereas the girl, um, her mum has died, but she... I think she gets a letter or something from her, from her mum saying to come find her on this island or whatever she's there. She goes to the island, her mum is there, but then when this guy turns up, he thinks the, the girls rang him to come and the mum's sitting on like a cliff and then disappears or falls off and I don't know, it all goes from there. I've not played it that much, but yeah, the stories are intertwined and uh, it seems quite good. So compelling mystery adventure, travel beyond this world to meet the dead, whose memories hold the key to the past. Over 100 extraordinary creatures to capture and control with the six axis wireless controller's motion sensor function to reel in their folk powers. I think the island is kind of set on like a Irish island. Um, and it's all based on Irish folklore, maybe. I'm not sure. Like I said, I've not played it that much, but it just seemed quite interesting. Um, there is a, a funny thing that I put on my uh, Facebook page, which the beginning of the quest is some, about a guy wanting to go to the pub uh, to start off his quest. And yeah, yeah I just found it quite funny. I mean, if I find the picture, I'll put it up, but I may have deleted it now. Um, anyway, the, the last bit we got from CEX, uh, I have this version already on the PS3, which I've got from the car boot. But, so the camera ran out, wasn't keeping an eye on the time. So I don't know when it cut out, so we'll redo this. The last one we got was the Dark Souls uh, limited edition, up at five pound. Comes in that kind of cardboard box version. Has a load of extras. We got the game, obviously, behind the scenes DVD, original soundtrack CD, art book uh, of artworks and designs, and a digital game guide. So I've really been getting into these, enjoying this style of game. Uh, so just to have this edition again is. Is great. I have this game digitally on the 360, so this is my first physical copy of the game. Um, the art book is in great condition, really nice. Um, there is our soundtrack CD, it's just inside the art book, and the behind the scenes DVD. We're losing a little bit of likes, actually started raining. Great. Uh, and the art book, like I say, in great great condition it doesn't look like it's really been opened cds are a bit of a pain in them little sleeves there and the game again great condition the prepare to die edition oh, flip like this around all complete with the little uh, digital code for the i guess the digital guide i think there's something else that's a slip of paper and the manual which is in great condition so just add that addition again into the collection. I have two of those now, like I said, the 360 and the um, PS3 version. So yeah, it's just nice to have again. Need another drink. My battery's running low as well, so I might need another coin in a minute. Anyway, the last few bits we have are the car boot. So the car boot is Sunday. We had planned to do three car boots, two on the Sunday and again on the Monday. However, the Monday, the missus was working and she was in at 10 and we were just so tired, we, we just thought we'd leave it. We didn't bother. The Sunday one, um, I'd actually been obviously working all week, uh, working nights and they were hard nights. Like our Easter is as busy, if not more, than Christmas. So it was absolutely mental. We were getting out late, probably like three hours overtime and it was just hard work. I was so tired that I just wanted a bit of a lay-in. So the car boot opened at half past five. We didn't get there till half past seven. So we'd already lost two hours of trade, if you like. Um, so we probably missed quite a few bargains. I picked up a handful of stuff. It's mostly for the collection, which is a bonus. Uh, in fact, it might all be for the collection. But one real nice piece that we got actually right at the end. I don't know how it was still there. Um, so yeah, like I say, got there half seven. 
field was full. It was packed. We just, I don't know why, but we just weren't expecting it to be that busy. Just I don't know why we thought that. Um, but yeah, it was already ramoed. The fields were full of sellers and just so many buyers around. Like it was really ram busy. Uh, but we did get a few bits. I don't know why that's on top. I think because I need to put it away. We got three DVDs for I think it was 50p. Uh, the, the reason we got them is we're going through that list of 100 that we've got the scratch post for. Um, that was just on there. So yeah, we got them. A few extra bits for ourselves. Uh, four titles. I can't even remember how much. I think I paid a pound for all of these games each. A pound each for the game. Um, Grand Theft Auto 4. I got because I got it with another game. I was going to try and get it as a, a bit more of a deal, but I didn't in the end. Uh, it does have the map and everything. It's in pretty good condition. I don't actually have this in my collection. The missus has it, but I don't. So I might just keep that tied into my collection. Uh, Fight Night Round 4. I say that all these are a quid. All complete. And some of these I probably picked up just because... I've missed so much and there wasn't really much else going. I guess a lot of it had already been eaten up because we were there so late. A uh, limited edition of a Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. This had a code which I think did work actually. So I've got all that limited edition stuff. Although it says limited edition on the disc so I think most of it's already on the disc. I'm not sure. I need to check that. And one OG title which we needed. Um, there was a guy, I've seen him before, I think he, he had a shop or something, he had a massive store, just all games, all proper price up and everything. Um, but I did find an OG game, which I needed in the collection, Cold War. So I think it, looking at it, it plays a little bit like the Splinter Cell games. Looking at the back, CO weapons, improvised gadget, gadgets, evade capture, undercover the conspiracy. X-ray cameras, that kind of stuff. Yeah, looking at the back, it just, it just looks like a bit of a Splinter Cell type game, which I like, so definitely give that a play and a go. And that was it for the game. So that is all we got. There was a few more I picked up. I did pick up a couple on one store. I asked the woman how much, she was like, you actually how much she games? And she just kind of walked straight past and started talking to this guy about some else. And I was like, how bloody rude. So I just, Chucked the games back and walked off. There weren't nothing spectacular. Um, like I said, there just really wasn't that much more. Saying how big it was. Game related stuff to get. We did get a few extra bits that we wanted for other things. Um, but yeah, not much game stuff. Until I come across this. Right at the end, before we were leaving, we'd kind of gone to the, the second field, which is more of your... People who randomly turn up, not your usuals that are always there. They're on the, the first field. But after we'd done the, the second field, we decided to walk back down the, uh, the first field just to have a look. Again, because we'd not pick up that much. And just after the kind of regulars was this store. And a guy was just buying up a Wii bundle, which had probably about 20 or 30 games. I think he only paid a tenner for it. So, you know, even for a Wii, that's not too bad a deal. Um, but I noticed this leaning up against the car. And I thought, oh, go and have a look at that, see how much she wants for it. Um, she said, oh, I want 12 quid for it, really. So I opened the box up and I look in it. The box is a little bit kind of worn, if you like. It's not, it's seen better days, but it's still boxed nonetheless. Uh, the contents inside are mint. It is absolutely amazing. Uh, so I was thinking about it because I don't really know the price of this too much or anything to do with these it's not something i'm actively collecting for at the minute or some i wouldn't mind collecting for um so we kind of walked off and we were thinking i thought i'll finish the eye on and come back and have a look if it's still there and i was looking at some games on another store and the missus was like you know just just go and get it but as we walked off the woman says you can have it for a tenner if you want so that kind of was sticking in my mind. I was like, you know what, I'll just go back and get it for a tenner. I was going to offer a tenner anyway, to be fair. Um, so for a tenner, we got, I think, a pretty good deal. I think these are about 25 quid on CX. Um, yeah, we got a Super NES scope. Look at that bad boy. So Super NES Nintendo Scope 6. It does have the game in there, the 6 um, game cartridge. 
PAL version, like I say, the box, it's boxed. You know, it is, it's integrity there, it's just kind of edgeware, mainly. Um, I think it had, it's got a slight dent there, but other than that, you know what, it's not too bad, a car boot. Like I say, just a bit of edgeware. There's a, yeah, that's the back, I think, just a little nick down here. But yeah, for a tenner, it's something I always wanted as a kid, being a massive light gun fan, the Super Snow bloody missile launcher, bazooka, was just awesome. I had a friend who had one and we used to play on it. Um, so yeah, I thought for a tenner, I'm going to go pick that up, I don't care. So we'll open it up and show you inside. Just pop that there. And yeah, it, it's all bagged up and complete. Oh wow, I just found the tan Tandy sticker just popped off. Remember Tandy? Jeez. Keep that there. Um, so we have, obviously, the cartridge. Six game cartridge. It's in great condition. It has somebody's sticker on top. And they might be, I guess, the owner's initials or whatever. Um, but that will come off. We have the bag of scope there, all in its bag. The manual, or manuals, there are two. They are a little bit warped, I guess, a bit of damp or something with it being at the car boot or wherever he had it stalled. Uh, I think that's the eyepiece or some kind of piece to go on the scope. On there, and the sensor, which obviously allows the scope to work with the TV. We're running out of time on my camera, so I need to hurry up. Um, yeah, but like I say, got the sensor, which I need to get my CRT TV to make that work, really. But yeah, nice little bargain that saved the day at the end on that little, uh, little find, so quite happy with that. Um, looking around, I think that is all our pickups for this time. Like I said, a fair few bits from a fair few different places, which is quite nice. Anything you had your eye on, anything you want to know about, pop it in the comments as usual. We'll have a chat. Um, we'll see you at some events hopefully soon anyway, so we can have a bit of a better chat. Um, it's a like if you've enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys. Bye for now.